Hey Diego, good to hear from you. Is Daphne here? Uh, your final task. Oh my goodness. Uh, right, you've done so well. These are all fabulous. So this is a lovely letter. This made me laugh. Um, so I hope you're doing okay. I'm just writing to let you know the news about my new job. Uh, now, careful, there's a couple of times here you've used the wrong tense. So do you remember that? So just present simple here. Do you remember that I told you I was feeling overwhelmed in my previous work? Um, overwhelmed by, we would normally use the preposition by. Uh, well, all those extra hours and tight deadlines finally weakened my med mental health and I decided to quit. Good sentence. The good news is that almost immediately I was able to find a new job in my field. Really good. In this new position, the working hours are less than half when compared to the previous one. Okay. Um, I think you don't need that. It's almost like you're making a list of the good things. So the working hours are less. The are less stressful situations and um, I think we could put in here luckily salary is pretty decent okay for this new position I have I just have to supervise a couple of computer servers during the night shift which basically is doing nothing but being paid to play video games during working hours great can you believe my good luck <laughs> no wow also, thanks to the free time I have now, I, now here we go, so I think here you need present perfect, so it's not, so present simple is a completed, like a finished action in the past, and present perfect is for an action which is not finished, so it's, it's connected to now, I've been able to remodel the kitchen and paint my flat, it also means that you're more than welcome to visit me whenever you want to come, hope to hear, so not hope hearing, hope to hear from you soon, uh, best or cheers, whatever. Yeah, yeah, lovely, fantastic letter. Really, no problems with that at all. I think that would score very, very highly. Excellent. So traveling, yeah, really good. So this one, the issue of tourists frequently traveling around the world has risen in popularity. Careful, I'm sure I have said this to you before. Um, relevance or importance. Okay, so it's very important to think what would be most appropriate because you're talking about the issue. It's not like the tourists are is popular. It's the issue. So the, is this a subject of the sentence? The issue is relevant or important. Be careful with this one. Don't just learn it um, without thinking about it. Since the advent of the internet, good, affordable air tickets and low price accommodation. Yes, 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 yes. This is exactly what we want. Okay, amazing. I love this use of three things here. Uh, it's powerful, it explains the argument, it develops it, and it's lovely um, collocations and good um, adjectives. Perfect. Some experts believe this trend has several economic consequences for countries. However, um, I wasn't sure about this, for it is the traveller's health. Okay. Ah, maybe this is the word that's confusing me. Okay. However, it's the traveller's it's travellers' health that has most benefited. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I'll take that off the yellow. Okay. All right. Now I see what you mean. Okay. It's traveller's health that has most benefited from this activity. Okay, from this activity. All right. This essay will consider both sides and use examples, yes, to demonstrate points and prove arguments. Okay. On the one hand, there is ample evidence that when a person travels, their health now, okay, if you're going to have benefited and benefited, their, their health is enormously improved. So rather than using benefit all the time. So the central reason for this is that by traveling, the overall person's, okay, the person's overall well-being uh, is enhanced by, let's go, a reduction in, or reduced stress levels, okay, a deeper sense of relaxation and the broadening of, but it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm, I'm being pedantic, but that doesn't matter. Broadening cultural horizons. For example, yes, again, three things. Yes. 
For example, empirical research published by Nature magazine shows that over 85% of frequent travellers are less prone to developing sickness such as depression, dementia and high blood pressure. Therefore, it's possible to assert the activity of travelling frequently um, offers... The, now, um, now, we don't want travelling and traveller. Um, the activity of frequent... You can have frequent holidays or trips so just to variety in your vocabulary an unlimited amount of um, health let's go health advantages or something like that something like that you can probably think of something better but do you see what i mean i'm just avoiding that repetition on the other hand, having a generation that only finds pleasure when traveling could be harmful. Okay, um, encouraging a generation maybe. The explanation for this is that the highly qualified millennial workers prefer to have the possibility, um, I'd go the option to travel and live experiences rather than committing to a stable job. That is so true. An article by the, now we call them, I don't know what you call them in Spanish, we call them the snowflake generation so it would be amazing to show that word because that is very topical it's a, like a new word in this context so that would work really well uh, name this tendency as new nomadic culture very good and describe this as highly negative for companies because they cannot find enough workers to support their production good uh, thus it's possible to believe that companies are the ones who are paying the price for this new trend. So just explain that a bit more with less <clears throat> growth due to <coughs> this travel fever. Uh, travel not traveller. Okay. Um really, really good. Wow. To conclude from the information arguments, it's possible to consider that people who travel enjoy several health benefits. However, companies are suffering the consequences because they cannot find stable. Uh, yeah, and they might be stable, but committed workers to hire. Furthermore, it may be predicted that okay that the interest in tourism will increase in popularity thanks to afford. Now you can have popularity. That's fine because it's the interest. Um, affordable tickets and I just want to put this here that it may may be that may also be that so put the also here may also be that automation will be the will be the company's preferred solution yeah so your adjective has to come here because you're describing solution not company the company preferred solution yeah, then everyone can go on holiday and they can just use robots. Perfect. Uh, really nicely done. This is your best. Yes, thank you. Absolutely fantastic. Just think about those little corrections there. Uh, but otherwise, you've absolutely got it. Bang on. Bonus. Uh, okay, a relative's coming for a vacation. This is nice. Hi, John. Um, I'm so excited about you're not really excited for probably excited about your visit um as join this together as i can't wait to have you here to show you the city's attractions the city's attractions i've been mentioning all year good nice showing off different tenses very well done i think you should just have this in here unfortunately um no unfortunately comma i won't be able to pick you up at the airport as i promised my boss asked me for a final report which I have to complete before going home. So take out it or either and I have to complete it or which I have to complete before going home. I'm afraid I will just be free at night. OK, maybe in the evening, but it doesn't matter. However, don't worry about how to get home. I as so let's join this again here as well, because I've asked I've now there you want the present perfect. I've asked. So. Check that out again if you're not quite sure. This is an, okay, it happened in the past, but it has a relevance to now. You've asked her because he wants to come in now to give you my keys. Her apartment's one uh, is, we don't say the, you just say number. When you arrive in the city, follow these instructions, plural. 
after retrieving your luggage, we would probably just say after collecting, but it doesn't matter, your luggage, walk towards the internal. This seems a bit strange, but okay. Do you mean inside bus station or domestic bus station, local bus station? I suggest either I suggest you buy or I suggest buy Ying. A daily ticket for five dollars and take the bus to number nine. Wait until uh, the eighth stop, Random Street, just in front of a 7 Eleven. Uh, don't use just twice. You could just say and, join it together and in front of the bus station is my place, the grey nine stories building, and my apartment is. Then you don't need that. 201. Okay. If you feel lost, this is so nice. I'll ask for here. You need four a taxi for you. Please make yourself comfortable. Be ready soon, and um, because when I arrive, I'm planning to take you out for dinner. Yay! And after that, you can decide whether to go to the cinema or down town for drinks. Yes, drinks, please. Uh, I look forward to. Is that it doesn't work? Uh, I am so looking forward to it. Yeah, just as simple as that. Uh, better girls, Diego. Fantastic, Diego. Really, really well done. Wow, super good luck from all of us. And I really hope you get the grade you want and you get to Canada. This sounds incredibly exciting. Um, what a yeah, what a really amazing adventure for you and your family, and I really hope it goes well. Very good luck. Please tell us how you get on, and thank you for all your immensely hard work.